of glitter in third. And today I'm going to show how you can create a lesson to go along with any of my Google Slide activities. So most of my Google Slide distance learning activities are purely that, they are activities. They're not necessarily gonna have readings or passages to get that background information to students. Um, and they do need a lesson if this is a concept that you haven't taught before. So I always get a lot of questions about this. So I wanted to show you how you could go about doing it. So let's say that I needed to teach um, soil layers to students. Now, this is obviously information that we don't just all naturally know, right? So after buying the product and downloading my Intro to Soil product onto my Google Drive, I would then go to um, my Google Classroom because I want to give this to my students as an assignment. Now, in my Google Slides, I say, hmm, well, for tonight for science, I really just want them to do the introduction, which would be two and three, what is soil and soil vocabulary. Now, obviously, they don't know the soil vocabulary at this point, right? But on my instructions, I would write complete slides two and three. Now, most students would see that. They would go on here and they would say, I don't know what topsoil, subsoil, or bedrock is, right? So we now need to have our lesson to give the students that information. So we're going to move on from our Google Classroom, and I'm going to show you what Screencastify is. So Screencastify is a way for you to record everything going on on your screen. And you can see, you can turn your microphone on. You can have a webcam if you want students to see your face. Um, and what's neat about it is it does have a Chrome extension. So you can add it to your Chrome. What that means is, look, it's just going to go right up here. So all you would need to do is click on it. Um, you can enable microphone, webcam if you want it to. And then you would record. And when you push record, it's just going to start recording um, the entire screen. You can just do application window as well, like if you just want it one screen. But I'd say just do your whole screen. Um, and then you click share, and it would just start um, recording everything. Now, I'll show you what we can do with this. So I'm going to say stop sharing. And you can see it already just recorded that you know four seconds that I had. Now, the reason that this is important is we are going to be using a digital whiteboard to give a lesson. All right, so we need to remember that we need to record the lesson so that students can later watch the video of the lesson. And it's like they're in your classroom, right? So that's Screencastify, which is right here. So again, it's free. You could add the Chrome extension. Um, they have other ways of doing it too if you don't have Chrome. So the next thing I'm going to show you is Google Jamboard. Now, Google Jamboard is a digital whiteboard. So let me show you what this means. Basically, it's the exact same thing as your whiteboard at school, right? So you could be giving a lesson on this digital whiteboard, you know, writing everything that you need on there, and you'd be recording it and having a microphone at the same time. So basically, it's like the students are in the classroom watching you, well, maybe not watching you yourself writing, but they're going to be watching the board, um, and they're going to hear your lesson as you give it. So Jamboard's pretty neat. Well, up here, it says Untitled Jam, we are going to write soil layers. Okay, great. And you see the different pen types, and you're going to see that your handwriting is not going to look as good on here as it does on your actual whiteboard. It does not matter, right? Soil layers. And then maybe you want to pull up an image, Google image search. Soil layers. Okay. Maybe you want to add that in as a real life example for students. Um, there's also a sticky note feature. I love using this spe um, specifically for math. Um, for like little rules that students often forget. Like if you're adding fractions and you want to say, don't add the denominators. Now, I know that's nothing to do with soil later. I'm just giving us an example right now. And you put that up at the top um, as you give a lesson about fractions. But I have no use for that right now in my soil layers lesson. So what you would do is you could talk about each um, layer of soil. You can say, this is what topsoil is made of. This is what subsoil is made of. This is what bedrock's made of. And while you're giving that lesson, you are doing Screencastify. So you're recording your screen, 
Again, up here is where the little extension is. If you decide to do Chrome or you don't have to do that, if you have a different browser like Internet Explorer um, or Firefox. But so you're giving your lesson. You can talk about each um, different layer. You can write more stuff. You can put in some images, uh, whatever you'd like to do. So that would be the base of your lesson, right? So really quickly, as an example, I'm just going to say record. I'm going to give kind of a fake lesson right now. <laughs> and I would say, oh, hi, boys and girls. We're going to talk about soil layers today, topsoil, subsoil, bedrock, blah, 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 blah. All right, stop sharing. And it pops up over here, right? So at this point, you would want to download it. Okay, perfect. Put it over here on your desktop. So we're going to go back to our Google Classroom. And we'll say, you know, let's say step one. So step one, watch lesson. And we'll come down here to um, add, which would be the attachments. And we're going to say a file. And say, okie dokie, upload. Great, our lesson is on there. Oh, but you know what? We haven't added slides two and three yet. So we're also going to add our Google Drive link, intro to soil, lovely. Okay, so that's on there as well. I'm also going to give a title, intro to soil. Okay, so step one, watch lesson. All right, so we're going to create a step two as well. Um, and I showed you Jamboard, so there's also Zightboard, which is another online whiteboard that works really well. Um, I personally prefer Jamboard, but you could look at both and see what you like. So I usually like to include some kind of video link. I just think it's more interesting to students um, and it just helps them hear information a different way. So right now, BrainPop is helping in the event of school closure, so you can request free access. If you have not used BrainPop before, it is awesome. They have basically every single um, different, what is it called? <laughs> different, you know, science, social study, health concept that there is, and they play these really small, um, short videos, and they're only like three to four minutes long, so they really hold students' attention very well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL. Oopsie. Step two. Watch Brain Pop on Soil Layers. And in parentheses, I'm going to put the link there. Um, and of course, if your students didn't know how to log on, you would want to make sure to put what the username and password is. Um, and again, Brain Pop is totally free right now, so it's such a great time to use it. And so All right, step three. There's one more um, video site that I just love. It's called Crash Course Kids. Um, I'll show you the link here. Well, okay. hello there. Oops. Welcome to Crash Course Kids. It's called Crash Course Kids, um, and they have tons of different, specifically science-related um, videos. And again, they're really short. They're very engaging, and they have them on, like, everything. So this, also like, Crash Course Kids Soil. Uh, you'll see this one pops up. Well, All right, so I'm going to grab the link. Soil. All right, perfect. And then at that point, students are going to know what the layers of soil are because they just watched a lesson where I literally tell them what the layers of soil are. They watch a brain pop on it, and they also watch the Crash Course Kids. So step four would be complete slides two and three. And at that point, you would just hit assign to students. Right? And there it is. So students would scroll down and say, oh, step one, watch the lesson. Oh, here's the lesson. I'll watch that. Step two, watch the brain pop. Step three, watch the Crash Course Kids. Step four, finally, they're going to complete slides in two. So now the students have all that great background information that they need to know. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, again, if you have any more questions about my Google Classroom distance learning activities, feel free to email me at kelly at glitter and third dot com. All right. Thank you, teachers.